Hey, we're down on Lionhead Ridge outside of West Yellowstone and we're riding around here today looking at the snowpack to see how it held up through a dry, mostly dry January. And the dry cold weather has created a very weak faceted snow surface where it's just facets on some slopes and there's layers of surface hoar on others. But the bottom line is when we get more snow, it's gonna cause avalanches on this weak layer. It's low danger right now because we haven't had much snow over the last few weeks and it's allowed the low, any lower weak layers to adjust and gain strength. And avalanches are unlikely. They're either gonna be small wind slabs or loose snow slides or maybe an isolated pocket of something a little bit deeper. So if you choose to go into avalanche terrain right now, make sure to only expose one person at a time. Dig and do a quick stability test to make sure you're not missing a, a poor structure and stay tuned to mtavalanche.com for the most up-to-date conditions.